Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In tonight's tearful episode of Coronation Street, Joel Deering's evil scheme failed as Lauren Bolton gave birth to his baby son. Joel planned to induce labor in the teenage victim Lauren, ordering medications in an attempt to permanently get rid of her. Joel, who had promised to purchase Lauren a bedsit in Ireland, verified that she was going shopping and made plans to find her before informing fan KDD Bailey that he would soon be at her disposal 24 7 After paying a teenager to mug Lauren, Joel left throwing away her ID and phone after the initial deed was completed, and Max Turner rescued a shocked Lauren. She felt a kick, so she knew her baby was okay, but a trembling Lauren ran away while Dee Dee hovered around. Joel insisted on preparing Lauren some meal at the apartment, smashing the pills behind closed doors and incorporating them into the soup. After convincing Lauren to consume it, he pretended to purchase her a new phone and locked her inside before departing. Max, meantime, had come to the conclusion that Lauren's situation was gravely flawed. Max tracked her down to the apartment and made sure she made it to the hospital as she gave birth in agony and cried out for assistance. Joel heard Bobby Crawford, Jack Carroll, answering a call on Lauren from Max in the Rivers and Dee Dee insisted on going to see her. Joel said that Lauren's baby had probably not survived, which startled Dee Dee. However, Lauren gave birth to a boy with Max at her side after a grueling labor. Joel expressed regret to Dee Dee for losing the baby when they arrived, but Max later disclosed that the child was still alive and in the special baby care unit. Joel was in disbelief that his evil plan had failed, and he wondered if Lauren and the child would survive. The daughter of Dia Swain, Betsy Swain, has not yet made her official debut on Coronation Street. After becoming close to her mother, Carla Connor, Allison King recently offered the young child work experience at Underworld. She begins her new job the next week. Her machining prowess impresses Fizz Brown, Jenny Calpine, and boss Carla. But soon after Carla discovers Betsy texting and takes away her phone, there's a fight between Betsy and her new supervisor. Fans believe Betsy is Sabrina and Detiba's buddy, even though we haven't met her yet. Betsy recently advised Sabrina to avoid evil attorney Joel Daring. After pointing out that Joel was a creep and cautioning her to avoid him, Sabrina's friend went over. After taking his card, she feigned to throw it in the trash but kept it for herself. Later on, Viewers appeared to understand why, as the as-yet-unknown visitor confronted Joel and attempted to use her as a pawn, threatening to reveal his weird behavior and threatening to give him a big gob. Fans of the soap opera believe they have figured out who the newcomer might be. Someone posted the following on X, the platform that was formerly known as Twitter. Is this Sabrina's daughter? She looks a lot like D.S. Swain. Joel's situation will get worse in just a thought. What if Betsy, D.S. Swain's daughter, is Sabrina's mystery unnamed friend, the one who is blackmailing Joel? Asked a second. Swain's daughter, 100%. Wrote a third. And as a guest, C.S. Swain's daughter, as she is supposed to be appearing, was written by a fourth. A Reddit user with a keen eye added, word is around the web that we have already met Betsy, as a new video on the official Twitter was posted late last night of Sabrina's friend taunting Joel. As of right now, the friend's identity is unknown. Could this be Betsy Swain alerting Sabrina on the need to avoid Joel? Can the coming doom be avoided for Sabrina? Sydney Martin is the actress portraying the friend. It appears that she will be a member of Max and Bobby's team. Maybe a girlfriend for Max the fans have till the following week to determine Betsy's real identity. Fans of Coronation Street think they know exactly how Kit is going to get even with his biological mother, Bernie. Bernie disclosed earlier this year 
that she had a son who she placed for adoption about 30 years ago. All she knew was that, not long after he was born, his name was changed from Zabiak to Christopher Green. Once they located him, it was revealed that he was Christopher Kit Green, a detective who had just moved to Witherfield. When it eventually came to light that he was actually Bernie's legitimate son, Kit, Jacob Roberts, refused to have anything to do with her or her family. Bernie's twins, Gemma, Dolly Rose Campbell, and Paul, Peter Ash, are unaware that they have a second sibling in the meantime. In addition, Kit was instrumental in Nathan Curtis's Christopher Harper imprisonment for Lauren Bolton's murder. The problematic teenage girl, as viewers may recall, vanished earlier this year and is reportedly dead, according to the Express. But in an unexpected turn of events, Kit put Lauren's DNA in the van of the pedophile Nathan, accusing him of killing her. The audience eventually learned the truth about Lauren's disappearance. Angel Deering had actually battered her to death. Even though Kit and Bernie had agreed to tell the twins the truth together, Kit broke her back and delivered the shocking revelation without her in Monday's episode. Bernie was horrified to see them all together when she arrived, and Gemma and Paul were still in shock at the news. In a startling change of events, Kit was able to reveal the truth without Bernie interrupting, which led to a heated argument between Gemma and Paul and their mother after he accused her of abandoning him when they were younger. Fans of Corey are now rife with speculations suggesting that Kit and Bernie's narrative is far from over. Some are even suggesting Kit may devise a cunning scheme to have Bernie falsely accused of a crime as retaliation. Reddit users are full of speculation. One person asked, What's Kit's game here? To which another quickly replied, Get back at Bernie probably makes Paul hate her and not be able to forgive her. Meanwhile, users are raising the alarm on what was once known as Twitter. One fan said, That's it, right there. Officially, Kit is a wrong un. Someone else made the following prediction. I think he's going to frame Bernie for a crime or something. The ultimate payback. He's not right this one, a viewer said, echoing the general discomfort. I believe Kit is working with Joel in collusion. I simply have this sensation. Another poster expressed their thoughts, saying, there's certainly something wrong with Kit. I sense something negative from him. Fans believe Betsy is Sabrina and Titiba's buddy even though we haven't met her yet. Betsy recently advised Sabrina to avoid evil attorney Joel Deering. After pointing out that Joel was a creep and cautioning her to avoid him, Sabrina's friend went over. After taking his card, she feigned to throw it in the trash but kept it for herself. Later on, viewers appear to understand why as the as yet unknown visitor confronted Joel and attempted to use her as a pawn threatening to reveal his weird behavior and threatening to give him a big gob. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.